it breaks my heart because she's beautiful a lot of people want to look like her probably and um, people are, are going to unknowingly not only cause health issues okay but they are also going to cause violence towards these innocent animals Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan, and today I wanted to talk to you about something that really, really made me upset. Um, and you know, I don't let things get to me too much. You know, I stick to myself, I mind my business, I eat my fruit, I stay cute. But uh, what happened was one of my friends from Instagram. Okay, so we never met in real life, but I've done a few lives with her and we've talked for sure over the last few years a lot. And I really respected her and I really loved her. I think she had a great personality. We got along. Um, she recently came out as not being vegan anymore. And what really bothered me, it really, really bothered me that she tagged me in, in a post about why she wasn't vegan anymore. And I watched a little bit of it um, and I got really upset because the things that she was saying, it really, it really, really made me, um, it just made me really sad that somebody could be so lost. And, you know, I just wanted to make this video real quick. I don't wanna say her name. I don't wanna um, make anybody feel bad about anything, whatever, everyone's on their own journey, right? Um, but when your journey includes hurting innocent beings, I'm pretty sure that it is a very bad decision, okay? If you, if you go vegan, if you make the connection between all living beings on this earth, you will never be able to go back. So if somebody goes back to eating animals, I know for a fact they didn't make the connection. And here's what made me really upset. Like this was the, the, the pied de resistance. I think I'm saying it right. Awa, uh, well, let me know. Um, what really made me so upset was that she didn't have any health problems. She went back to eating dead animal body parts, okay, because of ethical reasons. That don't even make sense, that statement, so let me just further explain. She says it's because, um, I don't even know what I'm going to title this video, but she says it's because... Um, she started researching and her ancestors, you know, they couldn't possibly be frugivores or eating raw vegan or eating a plant-based diet. They'd have to be eating animals. And so I believe this is why, and I could be wrong, but this is what I got from watching a little bit of her, why she went back to eating animals um, because it's not sustainable long-term and it wasn't what her ancestors did. I think this is what she's saying. And the saddest part is that like, she didn't even have any health issues at all. And I don't agree with it. If you have health issues and you go back to eating animals, I think there's a plant-based way. I think there's always a non-violent solution to every problem. But a part of me like gets it. I would never do this, but like if somebody's super desperate and they have health issues, I'm like, okay, you know what? They were desperate, they didn't know what to do. They were surrounding themselves with meat eaters and their doctor's probably a meat eater and so they got lost in the sauce. But her, what made me so upset and sad is that she didn't even have health problems and she's influencing so many people. She has a big following um, and she's influencing so many people to maybe try eating fish or try going back to eating dead animal body parts and that is not the way to health. I promise you, I promise you, no good comes out of violence towards animals. I promise you. And none of us really, really want to hurt animals in our soul. We know it's not right. So no matter what you're, sorry, my camera died. Okay, so basically I guess I'm making this video to ask you to please not attach yourself to any guru or any social media influencer. Okay, except me. No, just kidding. Um, don't even listen to everything I say. I'm just sharing what has worked for me and what I believe, my opinions on things, right? That I don't believe in hurting innocent beings. 
make your own decisions make your own decisions based on your own intuition okay a lot of people are going to be influenced by this girl and um it breaks my heart it breaks my heart because she's beautiful a lot of people want to look like her probably and um people are, are going to unknowingly not only cause health issues okay but they are also going to cause violence towards these innocent animals you know we're making a lot of progress in 2022 uh, in the world because we can't sustain eating dead animal body parts so there's lots of vegan companies meat replacements all that stuff um, obviously we know yeah is eating a dead animal and somebody asked me this the other day it was i think it was jessica my friend evolving with jessica everybody go follow her she is i love her i love real people you know she's like a real person um she's just she's not hiding anything she's an open book and i appreciate that um and so she asked me is it is it healthier to eat a dead animal body part or uh, a meat substitute you know like this beyond beef or whatever those things are you know um gardein etc right so i had to think about it for a second because forget about the um ethics right which is the reason why this social media influencer went back to eating meat but anyway forget about the ethical reasons um i said to myself you know what N yes i do believe that eating these substitute meats are still healthier uh for the human body and here's why uh when we eat a dead animal, bo animal body part we're getting its dna we are getting its hormones we're getting all the antibiotics it's been given and we're in ingesting the energy okay there is extremely extremely sad and nervous and scared energy that you are ingesting when you eat a dead animal's body part or drink the fluids from a cow that just gave birth and its child was ripped away from it and then tubes were stuck in its uterus and it's pumping out the milk that was meant for this baby calf okay and so this energy energy never ever dies it get it just gets transferred energy never dies it simply just gets transferred and when you're ingesting this energy we get symptoms like depression anxiety panic attacks we get nervousness we get uh violent okay because it's coming from a very very sad scared lonely and violent energy okay we have to be careful about what we eat and so i would still say that meat substitutes are a better choice this is my opinion again it's the internet guys so everybody's got an opinion just like an asshole take it or leave it but this is just something to think about okay it's just something to think about if somebody gave me a option as far as health wise i would still go for the uh, meat substitutes the v veggie burgers and beyond beef and um whopper whatever this crap that people eat okay i'd still eat that now in a world where you have the option we're not living on a deserted island we're not in jail unless you're watching me in jail what's up um i don't think people are watching me in jail i was trying to be cool for a second that's weird you know in this world where we have freedom most of us watching this if not all of us watching this get to choose what we eat right we get to buy our own food we get to choose exactly what we eat so in a world full of good better and best always 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 go for the best what's the best you know if good is meat substitutes like beyond burgers and stuff like that good better and best the best is fruit and veggies fresh ripe juicy delicious preferably organic fruit and veggies okay and so this is what i choose to live on this is what i choose to sustain me this is what i choose to promote and um help others to do the same thing that i did i wish i had the support of a coach or someone that could just tell me what to do and what not to do as far as going raw because like i said many many times in many videos i made a lot of mistakes all right and i wish so bad that i can go back and and just not make those mistakes again you know i destroyed my teeth i didn't know what to eat i um yeah i i was not a healthy raw vegan and um yeah now i am thank god and thank god the body is so resilient I, you can't regrow teeth unfortunately so i have a lot of teeth issues but 
I have what I have and these teeth will stay strong forever and I'm really grateful that um, I have my teeth still. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And um, well, most of them. And um, yeah, and I just go from here. You know, the body's so strong and powerful that when you stop doing something, the body starts immediately repairing itself. And um, yeah, really grateful that I found the right way to eat a raw vegan diet. And I am fruit based now. That's what I would say, because if I want to have, you know, uh, like a baked apple, I will have a baked apple. If I want to have, you know, like some a uh, warm berry compote on a smoothie bowl, I will have that. If I want to have some steamed veggies, I will have those things. Um, especially when I'm with other people, um, if it's like not available to me, fruit for any reason, you know, I live in the tropics now, so I eat mostly fruit, obviously, but uh, I am not so focused on being raw vegan I'm more focused on being healthy and to me health is being fruit based and um, you know if I was living in New York City for sure I would not stay raw in the winter I would have some warm uh, baked fruit like apples bananas uh, what else can you make um, like berries I would heat up some I would do the date lattes I would do, um, I might even do like a baked squash or baked um, like pumpkin. Those are fruits. Maybe some baked peppers or some steamed veggies, steamed kale, steamed um, like broccoli and things like that. I would do that because I think that it is just so much healthier than what I was doing, which was a high fat, high nut oil uh, in my like dressings every night diet. Okay, so if you can't get the tropical fruit um, to stay cute, then I know Freely, she used to recommend root. She goes, uh, she used to say, so go fruit or root yourself, right? Because the root veggies, they have calories that can help sustain you on a healthy vegan diet. Okay, if you're not getting your calories from fruit, you got to get your calories from roots. So, you know, like the root veggies, I guess the potatoes, the squashes, the all that stuff. Okay, so that was uh, quite a longer video than I wanted to make, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you think about social media influencers going back to eating dead animal body parts, and subscribe if you would like. I love you guys, I will talk to you soon, and remember, if you wanna stay cute, you gotta eat some fruit. Love you guys, bye.